Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Got a karmic individual that doesn't want a masculine to leave. See, there's a door right behind him, okay? And um, there's a karmic blocking the way. I feel like they're, they're trying to do everything. They may be telling this masculine that they'll provide for them, that they'll take good care of them, that they'll do everything. Um, yeah, spirit guides are out here too. Your person, I feel like all they're doing is, they're kind of like um, a puppet for this karmic individual. Um, but there's a spirit guide out here that's not letting something go down. What is this all about? What can you tell us, Divine? Another spirit, this is another spirit guide coming out. I feel like, um, I feel like something's about to go down in this karmic situation. Um, if you notice, you know, this card too comes out in reverse. I don't, I don't usually take my flash decks in reverse though, but I'm seeing that, um, that's why the spirit guides are out here. I feel like there's a spiritual team out here fighting for your person. This is a masculine energy who's up until this point been this karmic's puppet. This karmic doesn't want to let them go. They just want to keep them where they are. They want to keep them stuck. And I feel like the karmic now is starting to really panic, okay? They're, on, they're in a panic situation because, you know what, no matter what they've tried to do to keep your person there, um, they can't stop the divine from getting in, okay? Um, the spiritual team is out here waiting for your person to come and start their spiritual journey. They're being enlightened here. And the karmics, there's nothing they can do about that. There's nothing they can do. When the divine wants to um, uh, come through for someone and, and change their life, there's nothing they can do to stop it. Okay? And that's why the karmic is in a panic. I think everything else has worked. They may have even done some kind of spell work here, okay? Um, but they can't stop the divine. They've done everything else to try to hold your person back, and they cannot stop this masculine from having an, from having an awakening, right? Yeah, see, look. There's the divine right there. Yeah, I know. It's a it's a corn card. And this this corn to me in any um flash deck is the divine, okay? So they're they've got like a, a whole team of ancestors. They've got the divine right there with them. This is a masculine who's waking up and they're about to leave this karmic situation and the karmic is panicking. Um they're waking up I feel like they've been under some kind of dark energy spell to keep them where they are, keep them under some kind of an illusion, because this is somebody who is standing in the kiddie pool. All of a sudden, they wake up and say, there's got to be more to life than this, right? This is not what I signed up for. Remember when I said the karmic was promising to maybe take care of them, do everything for them just to keep them there? Now the, the divine masculine is seeing that nothing's been done for them, okay? They, they spend their days working and providing for this karmic while everything else in their life is falling apart. The promises, the empty promises this karmic has made, they're waking up. The, all of the illusions are coming down, guys. This is somebody who is waking up to a, a divine path and realizing a lot. They're realizing they, they've been under some kind of spell. And uh, this masculine doesn't want to be where they are anymore. This is somebody like, what happened to the lovely home you promised me? What happened to you putting forth the effort? What happened to our in-ground pool? All I got was a kiddie pool. Do you see what I'm saying? They, they feel kind of cheated here. They feel duped because this karmic painted like all kinds of illusions for this person. And now they're seeing the light. 
And these, I feel like, um, I feel like their ancestors, this person's spirit guides and ancestors, right? They're just waiting. They're waiting for this person to come towards the divine. And then I feel like there's going to be, if they're going to fight for this masculine, the divine wants them on the team. This could be someone who is of great importance here to this spiritual battle. Um, and they want them on the divine team. This is a divine masculine. So um, this masculine could actually be getting some um, ascension symptoms. This card keeps wanting to come out. It's driving the, uh, the karmics crazy. They're getting angry. They're doing all they can to keep them there, but all the illusions are down. Um, some of these karmics could be uh, having affairs behind this, this divine masculine's back. And I feel like the divine masculine is now getting messages uh, from spirit. They're, they're, they're really focused on something else, okay? They're focused on the messages now. They're, they're having an awakening. And, the, and there's nothing that these karmics can do about it. You know, you, you don't go up against God, right? Yeah, and I feel like, I see, I, there's that spell work, right? I feel like the, the illusions are coming down on the masculine and all of the spell work and bad energy that these karmics have been using to try to keep this masculine a puppet, it's all coming back on them. And, and they, they could be losing their mind. Seriously, I feel like there, there's been so much done to this masculine to keep them in the dark, to keep them a puppet, to keep them under some kind of illusion. Everything is coming back on these karmics now. If they did any kind of confusion spell, guess what? These karmics are confused. If they did any kind of illusion spell, these karmics are now under an illusion, okay? It's all coming back on them. And it's starting to affect the way they think. So this could be somebody who's uh, either they had some mental health issues in the past or and they're getting worse or they're acquiring now some mental health mental issues. Okay, it's affecting their brain. <clears throat> and I feel like it's because they wanted to keep the masculine in the dark. And now they can't think straight. These karmics can't think straight. And there's nothing more they can do to hold on to this person. Um, I feel like this is your energy. This is the only energy out here that I feel is yours. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like you're getting the messages too. You both are. You're kind of mirroring each other here. You're in a state of meditation right now. Um, planning, right? Manifesting. Um, you're isolated here, alone. Um, except for the divine, you're never alone because you've always got your spiritual team. But, um, yeah, you guys right now are vibing at a, sort of the same level. I feel like you're mirroring each other. And the karmics are losing their minds. I'm telling you, they're losing their minds. Okay, what else can you show me here? They may even start getting physical, you know, um, and if they get physical, they could possibly, yeah, I was just going to say it, they could possibly go to jail, end up in jail. There could be a physical fight here, and somebody could end up in jail. I feel like because, oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. Thank you, Divine. Um, because of the spell work they've done, it's coming back on them, right? Because they tried to keep this masculine stuck and basically imprisoned with them, okay? It's coming back on them now. Everything that they've tried to do is now coming back on them because you don't challenge the divine. If the divine wants this masculine on their path so that they can help fight this spiritual battle, that's what's going to happen. And all the, the spell work in the world is not going to stop it. 
And I feel like everything is coming back on them now. They may get jailed. They're losing, uh, they're losing their um, ability to think straight. They're, uh, everything is coming back on these karmics, I'm telling you. Especially this one here. I feel like... Um, I feel like this is your energy here, putting yourself out there, um, being very successful, right? Uh, having new suitors around you, and everybody's watching you. You may be feeling like you're living in a fishbowl because all eyes are on you right now. Um, all eyes are on you. And I feel like you're, you've got new um, suitors coming out. Um, you could be putting yourself out on the dating field, right? All eyes are on you, too, because I feel like you're a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher. You could do something online. You could have another podium out here on YouTube. You could be another tarot card reader. Whatever it is that you're doing, everybody's watching you because you're helping to teach spiritual lessons i feel very intuitive here so everyone is watching you the karmics know what's happening your person is figuring out what's happening um you're a guide and you, you didn't know you were guiding this situation but i feel like you have been um the karmic is watching you your masculine is watching you a whole group of people are watching you you're a leader, a teacher. Um, I feel like it's causing a lot of chaos between the karmics, the masculines, and you. I feel like there's a fight that's going to go down between the masculine and the karmic. Because the masculine is waking up and they're not going to want to live like this anymore. They're going to feel the need to get on that spiritual path. Because that's where they're being led. Okay, so I feel like your masculine and this karmic are going to have some kind of fight. If it gets physical, they could both end up in jail. All right. Got some photo evidence of something here. Somebody could find some evidence of cheating because there's cheating going on. And that's going to be the opportunity that your masculine needs to leave the situation. All right, so what else can you show me here? This is like proof, right? Proof. Yeah. Your man, <coughs> excuse me, your masculine is bossing up. This is someone who's learning lessons. This is an emperor. So this is a masculine now who's seeing things clearly uh, learning some lessons from the karmic situation that they've been in, okay? And they're, they're becoming every king in the deck. This person is about to boss up and leave this karmic situation behind. Getting all the messages and the downloads that they need from the divine and a lot of spiritual protection. They're being called out of a situation and back into battle, okay? Um, they're needed, on this journey who for whoever this masculine here they're very needed on this journey so i don't know who this is for just take it however it resonates with you okay you could be a pisces um your person could be a pisces or a water sign cancer pisces scorpio possibly a taurus um yeah I feel like they've been around a group of just haters, okay, that stand around and they chit-chat and they talk and they gossip. Your person knows they don't vibe at the same level anymore, okay? They all get together and have a little weenie roast and your person kind of listens to all of the trash talking. Yeah, it's they're, they're, they're getting upset about it. Um, there could, like I said, there could be some kind of dark evil plan here that they're planning. I feel like it's it's part a way to trap your masculine and a way to seek revenge on you, perhaps. 
The masculine isn't happy here. They're about to boss up into an emperor. I'm just feeling both these cards as an emperor. Like they've had enough. They've had enough. What is this? There could be children involved, but what I'm really feeling like here is somebody who's angry. Someone who's angry at the, at the karmic situation. They're angry because they got duped. And they're really upset and kind of um, feeling really sad because they lost their opportunity with you. Yeah, you've disconnected. And they, they, they chose uh, somebody who bent over backwards trying to do all that they can to hang on to this person. And now they're realizing the one that they want. Seriously, the one that they, the energies match, guys. The one that they want has, has disconnected. You, you've taken your energy back. You've taken your uh, power back. You may not want to hear from this person again. And I feel like you're the one that they want. They've been with somebody who's done everything they can to copy you. This karmic is doing anything they can, and it's excruciating for them because they just can't win. They can't win. No evil plan. No getting, getting together with a few of their friends, planning and scheming. No plan is going to work. This masculine now is being divinely led and protected. Okay? Whether you get back together with this person or not, collective, um, they're bossing up into an emperor because the divine needs them. It's a spiritual war we've got going on. There's no more time for little games. Okay? There's no more time for little games. we got to get out there. Um, I, I keep seeing the movie The Messenger. It's a movie about um, Joan of Arc, right? I've been getting a lot of um, a lot of downloads about that movie, and there's a part in the movie where she's having this dream um, about people on a battlefield, and she wakes up and she's in a panic because she says they started the they started the battle without me. That's what she says. They started the battle without me. Listen, this is a spiritual war we're in. The, the light workers are needed, okay? We're needed. This masculine, I feel like they have the potential to be a light worker, okay? It's a divine masculine, right? But they need to get on that spiritual path in order to do their work. They've been spending all of their energy, uh, all of their time, all of their resources on this karmic. And you know what? No. There's a lot of other people that need help right now. And this masculine is being called to action. They're being called to action. And if the divine wants them out there in the battlefield, these karmics, they're not a general. They're not a captain. They're a karmic. They can't hold your person back from their spiritual path anymore. If the divine wants them out here to help the situation, the divine is, that's what the divine shall have. So the, the masculine now is bossing up into the emperor. We're starting to see um, the divine masculine, you know, uh, in their divinity, right? Learning their lesson. Um, I feel like they've been learning from you, too. I feel like you're out here instructing people, and they've been watching you like a hawk, um, and they're learning from you. Yeah, look, they want to come towards their feminine energy. They want this two of cups. And I feel like it's making the karmic want to fight, wanting to fight, wanting to fight. But they don't know that they're going up against a divine masculine who's being called into battle. And when, and when the divine calls somebody into, into battle, right, they got to go. These divine masculines, this one here, they've got to go. They've got a team waiting for them. They're being enlightened whether these karmics like it or not, okay? Whether they like it or not. Um, give me one more for the collective. And remember, you can be any sign out here. Um, I feel like that, yeah, they want to be with you here. They want the one who's not 
flipping out. You know, you're calm, you're peaceful, you're meditative, you're happy, you're smiling. I feel like this person has dreams about your smile. I don't know why that is. Um, they're having dreams about you, Collective. They want you. And they're being guided in your direction, <laughs> Divine Feminine, right? They're being guided towards you. You've been kind of a teacher here. So um, you have a lot of knowledge, and this person, need, need, they need to get up to speed on it. What else can you show me? Give me one more for the collective. Yeah, when the divine wants the light workers going into battle, you know, no karmic on earth is going to be able to stop it. Doesn't matter what kind of, and look, I caught this one like in midway, right? Yeah, these masculines are taking control back. They're taking control back of their lives. Um, first thing they want to do is come towards you, okay? Um, but I feel like the divine wants them to learn some things first. They need to be able, in order to come towards you, they need to match your energy. They don't quite match it yet. You guys are mirroring, but they still have a great deal to learn. Um, but yeah, the first thing they want to do is come towards you with the love offer. And I feel like that's about to happen too, okay? But yeah, these this karmic here, they're going to get left behind. They're going to fight it all they can. They may even get into a physical fight. Yeah, because they're going to do all they can to pull your person back in. But they're not going to be able to. If the divine wants them out here on the battlefield, they need to go. And here you are out here winning, right? They want to come towards you. The karmics are trying to pull them back in. Fight with them using spell work. Um, and they want to go towards you, Collective. You're out here as the Empress and the Minor Arcana. This is Empress energy, period. All of the medals, you're a bit ahead of this person. And I feel like they want to come towards you. They need to learn from you. They need to learn from you. Okay? So they're being called towards you, where they're going to get Finally get up to speed, and then, you know what, we're going to fight this spiritual war together, right? Yeah, right now they're trying to uh, connect with you um, on an energetic level, right? I feel like they're about to reach out to you online. That's the feeling that I'm getting. This person's about to send you a message online. Yeah, they want to come forward and make you a love offer. Uh, let's see what they have to say. My deck is kind of screwed up right now, but it's okay. <laughs> so let's see what they have to say. This person's coming forward. They're about to contact you online, so be looking for that. But there literally is nothing more that these karmics can do. And if they continue to send spell work out there, bad energy out there, make these evil, twisted little plans, it's all coming back on them. All of it. Every little thing that they do, because the divine's not dealing with it anymore. This masculine here is being called to action. Okay? You were my sanctuary. You were the only person I could confide in, and I betrayed your trust. Our love was too intense for me to handle. I needed to break away. No one ever loved me again the way you did. I never appreciated you until you were gone. They're seeing, they're seeing the error of their ways here, guys. Give me one more for the collective. Thank you. Or a couple more. That works, too. I'm so attracted to you. I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger, and I can't control them. Does this person want to say? You are my home, and now I feel like I'm out in the cold. Yeah, they are. They are out in the cold, but you know what? Um, 
they're going to be coming forward because this masculine is called to action. They're being called. They're, they're being guided. And what the divine wants, no man can stop. Okay? 